and welcome back to English 1 and 2, Unit 2. Now that we have had a look at cause and effect relationships and we found a problem that we'd like to focus on, um, it's time to start planning our report. Planning a report is very important because it helps us to focus and um, it helps us to make sure we have a clear um, report in the end, uh, something that's clear, easy for the reader to follow and it also makes the writing process a lot easier as well. Writing a outline helps us to organise the thoughts in our head and create a clear plan. So, let's have a look at the parts of a outline then. Uh, of course, it includes the introduction, the body paragraphs and the conclusion. So, let's do a little recap about the parts of an essay or a report. So, introduction. The purpose of an introduction is to lead the reader. It's to give some key information about what the report or essay is about and it guides them as to what topics are going to be focused on. Okay, so we often start with background information that gives the reader some general knowledge about the topic and then we proceed on to our thesis statement. Remember a thesis statement is something that guides the report or the essay. So let's have a look at some examples. The first part you can see gives some basic background information and then secondly we can see which topics the report's going to focus on. Okay, so body paragraphs. Body paragraphs always start with the topic sentence. So in our outline for today, we're already going to be writing the topic sentences, but we also need to fill out our body paragraphs with evidence, support, and we'd like you to include a quotation as well. So let's take a look at our three topic sentences for the body paragraphs. As you can see, the three topic sentences connect back directly to the thesis statement. Okay, so it talks, we can't change our topic, we always talk about the topics that we talked about in our thesis statement. Finally then, the conclusion. The conclusion's purpose is to um, wrap up, give a summary of everything that you've talked about in the essay. Okay, it's important to restate your thesis statement, okay, so say it again, you can use different words, but you need to refer back to it always, okay. It also points out the significance and weight of the arguments that you made. It's a few simple sentences that we can include in our outline. Okay, so now that we have our outline, we should have a clearer picture of where we want to go with our essay, how we're going to write it, and it's a very good starting point for writing our report and doing our homework. So we can take our outline and we can put it up in front of us when we're writing, and hopefully it should guide us and keep us on track and stop us from going off in any other weird directions. Okay, so in today's lesson you're going to be um, creating an outline for your homework, for your report, for the end of this unit. Um, the teacher is going to help you and guide you through it. Then at the end of the lesson you'll take away your outline and you're going to be creating a table that contains your three quotations that you'd like to put into your three main body paragraphs. Okay, And we'd like you to submit the outline and this table to Blackboard for homework. Okay, your teacher's going to check it and give you some feedback and hopefully make sure you're on the right tracks for the report. That's all. Till next time.